confession. I read all of the Twilight books and liked them. <laughs> I tried hard not to, but it's true. And I was an ever fan through and through, like Mac is the cheese and Zap is the trees, Edward is to Bella, and I pictured him Bella fine. Still wish that man was mine. No Jacob could compare one hug and you're covered in dog hair. Nah. <laughs> like trains are to tracks, my one track mind was chugging along, and I wouldn't be derailed by anything obsessed. So boy, was I surprised reading an article calling out the fact that Edward is the profile of an abuser. No, no way. I resisted. Cup and bar spinning my wheels forward. No way that this could be true. Edward, my dream man, had abusive qualities. Like sand filling cracks in pavement, my stiff mind came to realize I was following the same old trickle-down pattern I, only, I always had, only I couldn't recognize it. The granules filled the cracks so well, an hourglass of time just waiting to be turned over again and again because there's only one direction you can fall. So thank you, Stephanie Meyer, for making me realize just how dangerous my cable car attraction really is. For making me realize I will go for whatever love hurts the most because there's security and familiarity. So I have to thank you, because I truly thought I was on the right track, could spot a wreck when I saw one, to pull that brake lever to come to a spark-filled screeching halt, because I knew this about myself. And I full steam ahead collided anyway. And worse yet, I still reread Twilight. And I still love Edward. And that scares the hell out of me.